Alright, so yeah, guys, let us know if uh, everything is okay, if the audio is okay, and I think that with our Fuji Jew, with our Fuji of Jew, I'm gonna start the show! Yeah! Is okay, for once, latch is quiet. <laughs> Am I still quiet? I can bring that up a bit Beep. like this. Let me know that for the audio. Like, uh, my mic and my setup is going crazy, so uh, <laughs> yeah, if it's all good, let us know. Kojak and Zen Geef is with us today. Yeah, <laughs> you came with your costume of Zen Geef. <laughs> can you do a suplex for us, like with tornado suplex? Yeah, maybe after the stream. <laughs> <laughs> with, yeah, with a thousand of donation, Zengi's gonna do it suplex right now. <laughs> uh, uh, I, can, I, I think I can try on you if you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be easy. Uh, like I Through weigh like I weigh like fifty pounds uh, as Kojak thinks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the fat, a fat two hundred guy like me. <laughs> <laughs> and then 200 fast. Look, <laughs> I apologize. You have to, you have to tell a story this time. <laughs> we're about to recreate that moment. We're gonna go to uh, TwitchCon next week. So, oh my what God. happened on the first TwitchCon, Kojak? It's story time. Kojak, <laughs> tell us the story on how we met. <laughs> Oh God! Yeah, I I got to the airport, <laughs> or not to the airport, but I got to the convention center. And uh, Thompson came out to meet me, and Thompson is about my height. And uh, <laughs> then when I got to the booth, it was just because Mike is really fucking tall. Mm -hmm. Isn't he like a whole head taller than me or something? Well, it's six and something. Mike is tall. Well, he's not that tall. I mean, it's Jen is uh, he's pretty big too. <laughs> but then. <laughs> <it's> just... <laughs> Okay, if you think Mike is tall, you're pretty small too. You yourself, go Jack. Oh, <laughs> no, the cat's out of bed. <laughs> oh. That's but, right. Yeah. Mike and the Zen never met in life, actually. Yeah. That's why you're so oh. sad, right? Yeah. That's all. Yeah, that's true. Actually, actually I'm sad. All this. Mark is the taller. Actually. Yeah, Mark is the tallest man ever on earth. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. He's like the bad guy in Character Kid. Yeah. It's fucking tall, blonde <laughs> air, and mean as fuck. <laughs> you don't want to yes. trust with with Mark. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's a good start. Uh, how about we switch to uh, what Bob has to say? We got a lot of stuff done in this update, guys. I have to congratulate both of you. Bravo! And it's let's go. Huge. Let's go check out what Bob has to say. <laughs> There's also the double deal, uh, double diamond deals. There's there as well. There's all that. I I feel like I need to to have you change that around a little bit because I feel like oh. the building in hell is along with the bounties. They're both yeah, legendary. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're both. Yeah, the bounties. Is, if something is more legendary than the building in hell, <laughs> oh, the bounties is such a huge. Well, I had like 15 seconds to make that animation, guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 you are mean. <laughs> I'm here and I do all these things and you guys are me. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, you're right though. Both are both are basically the same. But I was like, ah, oh, fuck, it's starting up. So yeah, I basically did that animation five minutes ago. And that's how professional <laughs> we are. <laughs> uh, Larkland is saying, damn it, Latch. I had one job and I missed it up. Uh, so I don't know how to tell how to say Mor Maurice in English. Everything. So his real name is Maurice. Uh, that's how we pronounce it in the French Quebec. In French Quebecer, that would be equivalent as uh, I don't know, maybe Randy, 
like a uh, like a trucker's name or a lumberjack's <laughs> name. So yeah, that would be like the equivalent of a lumberjack slash trucker in slash French uncle. Canadian. Slash uncle. Uh, so yeah. it's like it's, working it's man. Maurice. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's Maurice, hard worker again. But yeah, I, yeah. I, every time I, I, I speak that name in English, I'm like Maurice. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to, to say it. Am I still quiet? Apparently, I'm still quiet. Damn it. Uh, I don't think you are. Well, well that's to yeah, us. Think... Not necessarily to, to the stream. Yeah. Oh. I'm maximum power right now, so let me know. Maurice guys, is uh... a pimp name. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's a pimp name. Oh, holy <laughs> shit, guys. <laughs> I can release on iTunes. Ah, nice. Oh my god. That was my burp of uh, excitement. <laughs> <laughs> Morty. What happened That's to nice, our Morty. no burp policy? God. No burp Sweet. policy. Right, I just hit the button and iTunes should be going out now. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Look at that. Test light. It says available for testing on test light. Sweet. Sweet. Uh, Nice. <laughs> Mike freaking, is very quiet. I yeah, Mike is like. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was playing with yeah. one of my friend, and it, he saw honest, that popped up. Yeah, go when ahead. When I was doing the uh, the other costume for the devil little lady, uh, I, at the at first I didn't put the cleavage there because uh, I don't know. But uh, after that, I remember uh, we say we were doing a uh, sexy, uh, and uh, honestly, once I had the cleavage, I could stop laughing. <laughs> the, the amount of confidence you must have to to think you're still sexy dressed as, as a hot dog is the confidence of a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Zane is saying you gave Succubus a huge wiener. <laughs> Accurate. Accurate. That's pretty much what happened. Uh, yeah, it's it's so funny to be uh, dressed as an underdog and still think you can be as sexy. <laughs> yeah, right. People love it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know that um, I've installed a game on my phone, on my friend's phone, and I said like, "Hey, look at the update, etc." Blah blah blah. And when he saw the the devil lady, he was like. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't see the hot dog in the splash screen. He just saw like a like, huge wiener, <laughs> like top, just the tip, just the tip of the wiener. He was like, I have several questions, Light. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I heard that some people uh, found out what uh, was the costume of the Red Knight, and I'm pretty, uh, pretty oh. happy about that. Oh, yeah. That was a good one. On Reddit, people uh, people got it almost immediately. Yeah, yes. and uh, weirdly enough, people like Latch and Mark got it almost immediately too. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, I saw. Whoa! We got I think a people in the face. saw the movie. It's, uh... Thank you very much for the for the resub, Jonta. You got me off guard here. But yeah, like I didn't see. Um... I don't know, like, I saw the icon, the red knight guy, yeah. and uh, like it popped in my face right away. Kojak with this distraction! <laughs> there we go, 28 months of distraction. Nice, I wanna drop the volume just a bit on the sub alert. Because, <laughs> because of this, Mr. Regs, there we go, let the rain punch rain! God damn it, Mr. Regs had to show me up with one month more. It's raining punch. <laughs> <laughs> It's raining and, punch. Hallelujah. And yes, uh, yes, it's the uh, reference to UHF, uh, the Red Knight. Mm. Yep, it is. Yep, it is. Uh, yep, it... I'm trying to update. Ah, there you go. Update queued. I'm trying to have the update on my side as well. <sighs> so, bounty system. Yep. Uh, can you talk a little bit more about that? What was your inspiration behind that? <laughs> like the most vague question. <laughs> I don't know, maybe the time we spoke about that uh, on stream, maybe the 10th last <laughs> time that was my inspiration uh, yeah. for that. Uh, fuck. <laughs> all the planning we did. Yeah, all yeah the you know, maybe the 10th last stream was my expiration for that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while I wanted to do that. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> Where do you see your game in five years? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let me uh, open that up just a second. And also, how about I'm gonna put the giveaway as well in the background. Voila. So guys, while we are all chatting and everything, first, if you have any questions, just go ahead, go nuts. I believe that you can do QA thingy. Hang on. I'm just gonna do a little test on my side. Oh, we got another punch in the face as well. Woo, and you won, Ronev. Thank you very much for joining the battle, my friend. Thanks a lot. Welcome aboard. Okay, let me check for the uh, Q&A thing. So if I go... Question, but not question more, but play mission, Q&A, test, yep, that works. So if you go with, if you go with uh, exclamation mark, Q-A, and something, you will see your, uh, your question appear right over there on my side, so I'll be able to pop you up like this, and you will be, a, you will be part of the show, voila, it's on your back, there you go. And the first question, <laughs> the first question is about VR. I'm back. Etienne is not. Oh, uh, <laughs> there we go. Zangief is back. All right. Damn, already 60 people in the giveaway. So, guys, if you want to be part of the giveaway, we'll be popping that up during the show. Uh, every X minute, maybe 10 or whatever, whatever I feel like it. So you just have to say something in the chat, and your name will appear right over there. Uh, a couple of diamonds. Uh, to be, to be win, won, to be earned, that verb. So anyway, Acquired. bounties, how many bounties there is, uh, by the way, Kojak? Oh, sweet God. All right, uh, let me take a look. As far as individual different types of bounties. Yeah. Let me look. Uh, so... 83, including Shit. a little bit of white space. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, cool. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 83 minus 15, whatever that is. 60 something. I'm too lazy to count. 68. 67. 68, alright. Cool. That's a lot. And as it's uh, a. Yeah, go ahead. A couple of them. Uh, reach difficulty with only monster, upgrade monster, upgrade monster. Yeah, there are three types that are just having different monsters with the same bounty. Okay. Uh, but that only accounts for, let me see, what is that, like 16, like only about 25 of them maybe are different monster types. The other ones are, uh, like craft a certain number of ectoplasm cubes or go take a selfie with this monster or stuff like that. Sweet, sweet. I like them actually. Like, uh, uh, I just jump in and I like how uh, it changed a bit uh, the gameplay. Not that much. It's not like uh, obnoxious or not something I don't want to do, like uh, kill 200 kings or something like that, you know. But it's just uh, little things that I changed my gameplay. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to get the items, you know. So I really like uh, how they turned out. I did too. The, the moment that I had them in. And I was playing around with it, and I was actually, like, getting all the triggers and stuff working. Uh, I was just sitting there thinking, like, this is actually, like, kind of neat, because it's not just go to this difficulty. Okay, yeah, you got it. It's like, yeah. we included the selfie system, we did a little bit of item crafting with it, we did it a little bit of, like, killing bosses and stuff. Yeah, so, uh, we're gonna add more in the, in the future. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I made it super easy to add more bounties. Okay. Yeah, that's a that's a really cool new thing in the game. I think yeah. that uh, will grow, mm -hmm. like, uh, like the arcane laboratory and stuff like that. Something we can uh, expand upon. Yep. Yep. Exactly. As are the uh, the weekly rewards too. Yep. Yep. As well. Uh, one thing I like is that we wanted to link a item. Uh, we didn't do it this this, uh, this update because we still wanted to check out like how it works. Oh, Berserk Earth! Oh, you almost won it, Yen. You came this close. Uh, Rachel, Rachel, Rachel! Congratulations! 
Uh, yeah, there was an item I wanted to, but what we wanted to make with uh, link with the bounties, like uh, something like every time you clear a bounties, it gives you X, you know, like a bunch of skulls or uh, X, Y, and Z. And one thing we wanted to do uh, is to reduce the angel difficulty every time you do a bounty. So since we can do like. We have to think about that like thoroughly, but uh, the point is, since the bounties is linked to time, uh, we can link stuff to bounties without uh, being afraid of breaking the balancing of the game, because every everybody will be equally in the same place, you know. So, uh, yeah, we can expand a lot on that. And by the way, Kojak, uh, the uh, the leaderboard friend system. <laughs> I was <laughs> I put the leaderboard there. I was like, "Yay! I'm gonna be able to uh, to play with my friends." So uh, yesterday, my friend was at home and said, "Like, go get the update." He was like, "Okay, I have to show you something. We can play together." He said, "Yeah, all right." And then and I saw that <laughs> the, the leaderboard was invisible. I'm like, no. <laughs> I wondered what no! I got like all the crying faces for. <laughs> Look, I you can't pin this one on me. Yeah. We had a conversation, and you said we have yeah. it in the bank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on me. It's on me. But I'm the boss. I can say whatever the fuck I want. Yeah, no, no for real though. We 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 agreed as partners as a team to not put it in, in this <laughs> update because it will be, have been a little bit too crowdy. Uh, but yeah, next one. There was a lot right. of this update, update actually, so it's not be that yeah. big of a deal. Yeah, there's much. Ah, uh, we got a question. The updates are awesome! I love the bounties, you're the best dev ever! Sweet! That's on you guys! Any chance of fixing the World 6 Portal FTT bug before the end of this event? Uh, I wish I could buy FTT on Event Shop, but it feels like I'm making a bad deal. What's the FTT thing? So, a bell? they're, uh... People are reporting a bug right now, mm -hmm. um, and I'm still not 100% uh, sure what the hell is going on because every time I go and I look at it, it's working as intended. Okay. Um, the only issue that I do know about is that you have to complete a map spot before the portal for the portal to actually be counted for fast time travel. Oh, okay. Um, but then I have people saying like, oh, okay, that was the problem, and then other people are then reporting to me like, no, it's still... It's not giving me anywhere nearly as many orbs as I should be getting. Um, so I, I wrote up a quick thing and a debug shortcut for me just to like dump all of the information about fast time travel to the console. So I'm going to start investigating that for uh, a lot of the people. because And then we also just have to make it so that if the map spot has ever been visible, then it, you know, it counts that for the fast time travel. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So it's, it's for the, uh, in the diamond shop, is that it? Like the the diamond shop and in the event shop. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So the count is not uh, is not accurate. Okay, I got it. Sometimes, uh, and like I said, every time that I load somebody's save, they're like, "Hey, load my save!" Like the the fast time travel doesn't work for me. It works perfectly. Okay, okay. So we can't reproduce the bug. So that's very hard for us to fix a bug that we cannot reproduce. Every time we try to do that, we're just like in front of a working screen or like where do we start uh, so it's yeah, really hard for us you know where is the problem so it's hard to kill something that you can see feels like a schwarzenegger movie quote give me one second if it bleeds if it bleeds you can it though. bleeds you can kill it yeah. uh yep 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 and kojak is gone oh where are you uh okay let me take you out to poo oh, real there. fast uh 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 he just freed the bird. He, he poo just... a bird? No, no, he didn't poo a bird. You're... <laughs> yeah. No, that's not what I said. Hang on. Uh, bum, ba -da -ba -da -bum. uh We got Good Zerker saying, Give us a slot form that doesn't wake up Bob. <laughs> it's on, the, it's on the, the board, actually. I believe so. Could be a pretty cool uh, item. Ah, it could be an item like uh, slot form doesn't wake up. Ah, yeah. You heard that, Kojak? Yeah, no, I just I came back uh, right as you were 
saying that. What's up? Good Zerker is saying, give us a be- give us back a slot form that doesn't make uh, doesn't wake a bub. Oh yeah, no, that's and it's that's just what I want to do. Item. Uh, yeah, well, actually, item. what I would rather do, uh, it's something that I've been trying to figure out for a while now, is like a uh, the whole awake versus asleep thing. Yep. Uh, I would rather introduce a different skill that you can choose. Um, potentially, like this is just something I've been throwing out there, but it could uh, it could be a skill that doesn't do any damage to houses, but skips the the like duration between houses, like sloth form already does. But then this one like kills villagers for you. Okay. So you get to make a you get to make a choice. Do you want to do DPS with Bob, or do you want to be more idle with Bob? And then okay. the other skill could potentially take advantage of all the sleep bonuses. Hmm. So nice. then, you know, you you have sloth form, and then you kill the villagers yourself, or you just don't do any of Bob's damage, but you don't have to worry about clicking villagers, and it can be like I don't know. We can adjust the duration of it to to make it more idle focused, that kind of thing. That's at least the the thing that I've been trying to work out in my head, like what works okay. the best. How can we set that up? Yeah, sounds good. And let's let's think about that. Yeah, <laughs> we. I, I had to include the the slot form waking up Bob thing sooner rather than later, so that when we actually do want to do that, people aren't screaming at us because they've made like all of their stuff dependent on that one system. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a hard decision. Well, it's not. I'm not gonna say a hard decision. It's it's, it's something that uh, needs to be uh, thought thoroughly. One, and it also implies a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, but yeah. Uh, some... uh, as a player, it's just um, imply how how do you want to play the game? So mm-hmm. there's, I think there, there should be choice after a while. Yep. Not just straightforward uh, power up. Yeah, like I, I like what they did in uh, Realm Grinder. Uh, in Realm Grinder, whenever you do a restart, whenever you use a time portal or resets, uh, you have to choose. Uh, you get to choose between like nine different uh, guilds. When I say guilds, uh, and the the, the 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 guilds will change your gameplay. So one will give you more bonuses if you're active, and the other one will be giving you more bonuses if you're idle. And uh, de- depending on the guilds you're choosing, uh, one would boost your skill duration, for example. The other will kill villager- villagers automatically. The other will boost your DPS multiplied by two. Or skulls multiply by two, blah blah blah, you know, that kind of thing. So when you restart, you choose an alliance or a guild, and that's how it changed your gameplay, you know. I'm not saying I want to copy paste that that uh, that mechanic, but uh, I'm talking but, uh, about I, the choice. I, I get it. Yeah, having, yeah, having more choice and uh, when you reset, mm-hmm. pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yup. I like it. I like it. Well, let me check another. Question: Mr. Reg is asking, uh, "How soon until we get a VR version?" I want to tap, tap, tap with my fist. <laughs> Just punching. <laughs> uh, we should have like uh, the same thing as those uh, Tamagotchi thing, like a uh, uh, a footstep counter that click. Oh more. yeah. It kills. Have some vital hooked up to Just jog. Yeah, exactly. Like it kills all villagers when you shake the, the phone. <laughs> yeah. So you go running and you kill a shot a shit ton of soldiers. <laughs> Zom jog idol. <laughs> My question disappeared. What question? I asked ask a question on the chat and it disappeared. Aww. <laughs> oh no, it's still there. It's the last yeah, one. The bottom. <laughs> Sprumbot is asking, would you pet Maurice? Can it be tamed? I don't think Maurice has his own will. <laughs> is so much stronger than I thought she was. Actually, you can play as Maurice if you go play Trapmaster. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. So Maurice, uh, a little background about Maurice. Uh, let me show you guys. I think I have that in my portfolio. So Trapmaster, the seventh game we made. 
at Berserk Studio. It was 2009, so almost 10 years ago. And uh, there you go. Your own, your very own Maurice right over there in the game called Trap Master. Really cool game. And I think that I, I just took this actually and put that in the iPhone. <laughs> it looks so much more uh, horrifying. I changed the visual, <laughs> visual uh, actually. Ah, okay. Changed the bit. So yeah, there was Maurice and what was the name of the other? Caesar. Yeah. Yeah, so that game is a pretty cool game actually. It's like a, a mix between a platformer slash uh, tower a tower defense. So yeah, it was a pretty cool game. Berserk Studio, that's a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you can play as Morris. You, you cannot tame him, but you can play as him. Why is Shell's Morris backwards? Hmm, good question. Why is his yeah. shell backwards? Yeah, apparently his shell is backwards. What? Oh, it's like uh, it's like uh, it was. He was designed like that. Okay. That that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Give me a break. What the hell, Slug? He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> he can have his shell backward if he wants. Some people put their baseball cap backward. Morris uh, pulls his shell backward. It's a fun. Yeah, you just take money. it off, flip it around. I don't know. I didn't design it. Ask Mark. Ask Mark. He's a fucking demonic monster chugging diamonds in hell. He can have a backward shell if he <laughs> wants. I'm not gonna tell him how to live his life. <laughs> yeah, who are you to? You tell him. Yeah. You tell me they can only only be two ways. You can have a you can have a shell. It's 2017, <laughs> man. Uh... <laughs> That argument. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's good, uh, okay, hang on. I mentioned the Kojak stream earlier, and it was like to make platform damage scale with black orbs somehow. Yeah, was that idea tell, talked about? The, the scale. The scale yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, we were talking about something to help sloth form be more focused on doing damage. Okay. And I had mentioned, or somebody had mentioned, uh, making it scale with black orbs, mm -hmm. which I actually really do like because it's an easy way to, to scale based on the progress or how far you are in the game. Yeah. So it could be something that, uh, that we could look at doing, like a, a special unique item or something. The one thing I don't like about giving more power, giving too much power on uh, the slot form or on tapping is that at uh, one point tapping will be super fucking overpower and if you don't tap um, you know if you are idle you're gonna have like a hundred percent less progress than when you tap you know well, I mean you could probably so, argue that, <laughs> that the game is at that point at the moment but uh, yeah no I just mean when we do like look into a full like uh, awake versus asleep kind of Okay. Settle. <laughs> like yeah, we can always uh, we can always uh, balance back with uh, having DPS that boost uh, on sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So okay. Yeah. I think I think if we go away, we have to go the other way too. Yeah. Agree. Yep. Yep. And yeah. having a multiplicator based on on black orb with the sleeping bonus. I'm focused. I'm getting on my chest. <laughs> I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be playing on the podcast. <laughs> Look at what no, you did. Yeah. Look at what you did. I'm addicted to my own game. Damn it. Okay, I'm just gonna warp and go back. Uh. uh but yeah, I mean that depends on the. Um, uh, right now, if we have that item implemented, like, right now, I don't think it will break anything, because uh, the uh, slot form is already super fucking powerful. Like, yeah. it can reach, like, 50 or uh, maybe even 100 difficulty more just by activating the slot form thing. And it's not longer attached to tapping, uh, because that was I was uh, I was afraid of, you know? If you have oh. to tap, actually tap, you know, and be active like this... Uh, that will make it like you have to tap in order to progress and sure. then it creates like a chore and then it creates 
like the opposite of fun. And, yeah, uh, no, I totally well, agree. You know, so that's that's what I was afraid of. But we do have a skill that taps for yourself. So me. Yeah, yeah I, I wouldn't attach any kind of bonus to actual clicks. I would attach them only to when you fire sloth one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was at least my thinking. An high level player, uh, I think most of them have, have the um, uh, pearl, uh, uh, pearl thing right now. Yeah, the yeah pearl, that's, like, that's uh, something like I, I read on Reddit and I, yeah. I take a look at it, and that's like the first thing that a lot of people suggest you do once you unlock the arcade. Can't get the pearl update. <laughs> yeah. So I, I feel well, like the. The awake versus a sleep rework needs to happen yeah. soon. Yeah. Soon, <laughs> soon, TM. Yeah, it's yeah. still the multi-wall farming that I like. To uh, oh, me too, me too. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a we have a collab coming up too. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yep as well. Yep, yep, as yep. As well. So much. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, what is the next thing? We talk about the bouncy system? Yeah. Did we talk about uh, the, uh, the Halloween event? We, talk we touched about... on it a little bit, but I don't know that we've... No, we don't talk... Uh, we didn't talk about the Halloween, except we just talk about the hot dog costume. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, the new building in hell, uh, well, that's not a lot to talk about. It's just... New level of building and also a new building for Maurice. Yeah, yeah. Which is Maurice itself. And um, we got Andre Joke is 13. Sorry, I missed up your name, but you're the winner, my friend. 25 diamonds coming your way. Yeah, sorry. When you guys do a collab, do you make anything for the other developers' games too? <laughs> Depends actually. We wanted to have something with Gunzo, and uh, the timing wasn't uh, the best. Actually, uh, we thought about having something in Thus the Turtle, but also uh, Zombido has uh, what it needs to have a collab. You know, it fits in the universe of Zombido. We just put a mm -hmm. portal, and it's something uh, you know that uh, you guys. Uh, the game is very transparent with the dev, so we can see much like in the behind the scene. Uh, so some vital talks about the, the devs as well, you know, so we get to, to talk about uh, You get to see us working get to see blah, blah, blah. so we can discover and share what we like in some vital within this, within this universe It makes sense, but if we plug Bob from uh, in uh, Tuss the turtle uh, Those player might feel like what the fuck is that? You know, it might feel mm -hmm. like uh, out of place or just like a scam or just like a I like a I feel more like an ad in the other game, you know. So yeah, yeah. we're not against it, but uh, we don't put pressure on. Uh, yeah, exactly. On the, color, on the people we collaborate with to to get that. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Although we were, we have been talking with the guys at uh, Crusader of Los Idol, and they were uh, very happy to have a collab, and also to have something in uh, from Zombital in Crusader of Us Idol. So yeah. that'd be pretty awesome. That'll be working, you know. So we need but to I think that. this collaboration will go to two thousand eighteen. Eighteen, yeah, next next yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Because uh, right on. now uh, with all the when when the when fall is starting there's only <laughs> so much we can do because there's a bunch of event coming up because mm. uh, you know it's the holiday season. Yeah. Mm hmm I, uh, Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas, uh, it's, they, they all are pretty uh, near each other. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy that we decided not to do something for Thanksgiving, because then that gives us more time to focus on other stuff and more time to focus on Christmas. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which and I, we're missing uh, I one week. Yeah, for TwitchCon. You were about to say? Kojak? I cut you. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think I was going to say anything important. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of... Uh, so the next update should be on November 2nd, right? 
Let me check. Ish. According so... to the plan? According to the plan, yes, November 2nd. Okay, wait. Shit, really? No? Okay, maybe I was uh, <laughs> completely wrong then. I thought that we were... We sk uh, we went a week in advance, or we did three weeks, I don't remember quite what we did, so that we didn't have to release an update uh, next week, which was during TwitchCon. Mm -hmm. And then the update right after that would be the 27th, but are we doing... Are we doing 26. an extra week? 26. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, I was about... Uh, we said that we should do it on November 2nd, so we can just remove the Halloween update at the same time. And it will give us, like, oh, oh new sub! Got punched in the face! <laughs> Kill Crow! <laughs> Thank you very much That's for that right. sub! Right. So we can remove the Halloween update, and also it will give us uh, three weeks to do stuff. And by three weeks, I mean two, because one of them will be at TwitchCon, you know? So, yeah. So we'll be able to... Uh, that's right, that's right. To, to do the update in Everton. I don't know what, so uh, we can... what's going to be in that update. I have no idea either. But we can we can do that update right at the beginning of November, so that, like, yep. as soon as Halloween is done with and people don't care anymore, we can yeah, remove exactly. all the, the costumes and everything. Smart. Voila. Forgot about that. Voila. That's the plane. Yep. Let me, uh... So, uh, will this event contain uh, a collaboration or will we take a break and put the collaboration up on the 16th? Like three weeks after? Oh, uh, I think we should go back to the two weeks uh, schedule. For... Uh, yeah, we have to debate on that. Uh, like, we're gonna do that like offline. Uh, like, if yeah. we have two or three weeks still. Uh, but yeah, that's a discussion we can have offline. I wish I could just do like every week, but <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, hilariously enough, uh, with all of the updates that we've done, we've only ever done one three-week update. All the rest of them have been <laughs> two-week updates. And we always. Uh, we we do skip. that. Uh, we 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 skip some update and put four weeks update. Oh shit. Well, those were like emergency situations, if I recall. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. You're right about that. There you are. I am busy. I'm busy. <laughs> I'm busy playing. <laughs> how do you guys like uh, speaking to you, talking to you, uh, chat? By the way, how do you like the new uh, selfie, new cell phone? No, I really like it better than the other one. So it allows us to have another spot right over here. It gives way more room. Yeah, and it's less clunky. You know, yeah. uh, especially for, uh, especially on, um, on, uh, on iPhone. One little bug, by the way, Kojak, that I, uh, I saw. When you click here and you try to click here, that uh, little <laughs> button is very, very uh, small. Uh, so <clears> what <throat> happened a lot of time is I was doing this and then I tried to click on it. It was doing, ah, you fixed the bug. Okay. It was, hey, clicking, uh... Uh, it was clicking on the map behind it and the map was oh. really on top of it. <laughs> I, I yeah, saw no, something, uh, though. Uh, the sidebar on the uh, cell phone, uh, I fixed that, but it's still the broken one. It's still the, the old one, which is badly centered and... Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. You fixed something well, in there? Yeah, I, I fixed that bar. Okay. <laughs> the, the new bar that I fixed. Whoopsie. Oh. Hang on, yeah, it, the, the bar should go to the bottom of the screen first, and the, the oh, bar the in the middle bar. is 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 uh, you're talking about center. The, you're talking about the scroll bar, is that it? Yeah, yeah, I'm talking oh, about okay. the scroll bar. I was looking at that thing. Yeah, the uh, scroll bar is a bit of a problem, uh, probably because of the multiple resolution shit. Yeah. It's probably because of that. Is that it? Yeah, anyway, it's something I think we should talk about offline. It's yeah, pretty yeah, yeah. boring. It's, it's, it's stuff. so minor. It is yeah, yeah plus minor. I can just move the, the visual. Yeah, but it's. Like, <laughs> Sorry. Look real bad. I just got attacked by a big wiener. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. 
there was a tons of small things that have been fixed as well, right? Like the uh, you have do you do you have a list of the bugs that you fix? By the way, go Jack. Uh, ish. You mean for this update? Yeah. Yeah. Hit me. Let me well, take a I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Hang on. Uh, whoa. Ah oh, man, I didn't update Trello. Uh, um, fine, no there problem. wasn't there wasn't a whole lot done for this update, but I know that the uh, the chest monster difficulty was one of the things that I fixed. Okay. Yep. Yeah, on world uh, two, right? Yeah. Yeah, on world two. Uh, I adjusted the difficulty on that one. Um, I think there were a couple of visual things that I fixed. Let me see. Yeah, Stramage has a good point. The phone is great. The only thing is we need some kind of notification when the bounty is completed. It's annoying to yeah. have to open. Uh, so yeah, definitely just have a little exclamation mark whenever you have something completed. Or when you get a new bounty. Or when you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally agree. Uh, those are on my to-do list, actually. Yay! Hang on. Ah, taking side. <laughs> I got an achievement. Yay! Nice. So I just want to upgrade this one and this one. So <clears> now I have to get... At a fast manual save instead of in the options menu. We want to avoid putting the save button somewhere obvious or somewhere where you can easily get to it only because the, then it increases the server costs on our end. <laughs> And we do already autosave, like, after every major event in the game, like getting a new item, completing a bounty, um, spending any diamonds, getting any diamonds, anything like that. What was the question? Uh, they wanted us to add a manual save button to the new phone UI. Uh, yeah. We just want to... Uh... <sighs> yeah, that's, that's kind of sad, but uh, we don't want to encourage that behavior. <laughs> And yeah. if, we, if we do, it's going to cost us a shit ton of money. So uh, so we better just, like, make it... Because you should, like, I never had to manually save, ever, in my game. Because uh, it, it never uh, it never uh, rolled back into progress, you know. we all I always uh, was at the uh, furthest ever. So you always automatically save properly and that's what we wanted that's what that's that's the behavior we want and then we added the save one because people asked and we said okay we're gonna have that save uh button somewhere but out of reach and now uh, people are asking can we put it like closer and closer it's like no it shouldn't even not even be there at the, at the first place uh i know it might but so the better a solution is to tell us, hey, when I do X, it doesn't save. We're going to fix yeah. that instead, you know? Yeah, and Larklin actually had a good point, too. We had talked about a visual indicator when the game saves, so it'll help people realize, like, oh, okay, my, it just oh, saved. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, that, that it, could be cool, though. It was over there before. Most of the game that autosave do that. Yeah, it was over there, by the way. Uh, the auto... Yeah. Yeah, the last thing over there, uh, at the very, like, I think on the first build, there was mm -hmm. an autosave with the timer, and it was saying, like, whenever it was, and the thing was shaking when it was saving. So it's super subtle, but uh, we could totally have a little rectangle on top right that says yep. it. So, yeah. Most of the that game are just a little loading button, like, yeah, yeah. a little thing, thing that spin when it's saved, and that's it. For a yeah, second. Yeah, I was playing uh, Cook, Serve, Delicious, and it was like the little pickle, and it uh, pops it up in the very beginning of the game. It's like, do not close the game. The game is saving when the pickle is gyrating. And it was just like a little spinning pickle. Yay! And you, we can use the phrase, refrain for turning off your computer, like in the yes. thought rubbish. I, I like the wording, refrain. Refrain. Like you have to control yourself not doing it. Oh my god! Please oh, refrain. I do it so much. <laughs> was it uh, in Star Trek? Yeah, yeah, that's in Star Trek. Refrain yes. for shutting down your console while <laughs> while saving. Any update on clerics? Not yet. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> not yet. <sighs> yeah. But not the clerics, uh, I suggested uh, to the team. It's not. Uh, it's not. Uh, 
how can I say that? It's not a proof or anything right now, but what I suggested to the team is uh, instead of killing the clerics uh, that remove, that decrease difficulty of the angel, we could have an item that decreases the angel difficulty whenever you do a uh, bounty. So whenever you clear a bounty, uh, it decreases by five difficulty. You know? So it gives you another incentive to do it without having something that you can just spam and decrease the, the angel to zero all the time. You know. <clears throat> uh, I saw somebody mention this, and I just want to touch on it because I think I've seen this uh, several times. And I think he's just <laughs> filling up the, the question database with it. Um, re uh, repeated bug on logging in four plus hours like after night, you don't get the option to get all the skills you have from being away. Uh, that is most likely because if you're playing on web, your cache is being cleared, or if you're playing uh, on like Steam, then it's not being allowed to save locally. Because if we don't know when the last time that you jumped in with, or when you logged in with, then you know we don't actually calculate any kind of offline progression. Um, so yeah, uh, just double check that the game is actually being allowed to save locally, like your settings aren't being reset or anything. Or if you're on web, that it's uh, you don't have to re-log in every time. There you go. Can we have another question? Is there some long-term plan to move away endgame progress from shards? It becomes extremely annoying farming scrolls. Well, we got I, bounties. That's one. I <laughs> really hope the bounties will do that because uh, I have. There are a couple of items that I feel like are pretty powerful. And we talked about it, uh, like, in our, our, a meeting that we had just before we mm -hmm. launched the update. But I feel pretty... So or I feel like the bounty rewards are pretty solid. Yeah. yeah. It's at least a first start. Yeah, and I, I think, to, to be honest, we don't want to nerf down the shard, so... Every move we make is to make something other as strong as the shard, so yeah. we don't want to go and just nerf them. So, we, but everything yeah. we do is to steer away from the shards. Yeah, so. that's why we put the angel right there. Yeah, and now we're putting the bounties, and we want to have the multi-world farming thing. Uh, so yeah, basically we haven't touched. We haven't. Oh, we also put the battery system. The battery yeah. system steer it away a lot. Uh, okay, it's still gonna help you in Arcane, but, you know, uh, my focus went away from trying to just make shards to trying to get items to increase the battery and items to increase get potions and blah 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 to, uh, for the rest, you know. So, yeah, I agree, I agree with you guys, actually. Like, for the past two or three months, we, that's what we're already trying to do. Yep. And we will continue to make stuff other than shard. Yeah. Yeah, the battery system was uh, the one that really saved me for, uh, for me. Uh, the fact, the battery system and the chest collector thing. Uh, like I was, uh, I was not collecting items at all anymore. I was just like playing and doing the same thing over and over, and then eventually I got bored and I was like slowly not playing back to some vital, you know, playing like once every two days or something like that. So I was like, okay, we have to do something because I'm getting bored of my own game. So warning, warning, and having the auto chest collector got me to just get a couple of items uh, right away. And then I was like, oh, I could get more item if I just go to World 2 and World 3. So I went back to those worlds, which is something I stopped doing for months. But just that mm -hmm. little item, just like dip my toe in the water of getting new items. And then the battery system added an incentive to get those items and everything. So anyway, my point in there, I guess, is uh, we are trying to steer away from the charts and whenever we found the end game boring well we feel it as well as player yeah yeah and, yeah, and uh, i think i think the uh, the bounty system uh, i think what we need in the game is some kind of questing to strive for right now uh, i want to get a, a bunch of battery stuff so i need a bunch of item also yeah. want to complete uh, the bounty so i'm 
Uh, right now, uh, what I'm doing in the game is uh, to complete the bounty. I have to kill manually uh, a bunch of boss, of uh, chess boss. So I'm just running in the world and trying to kill a bunch of chess boss. Uh, this, this is because it will give me a strong item. So I need stuff to do, and I think right now I have stuff to do, and that's that's pretty great. And we will continue to to put stuff to do in the game. Not just waiting for shards. Yeah. And like we said, I think that uh, I think that bounties are a really good first step because yeah. the the rewards are nice and powerful. They're nice things you want to strive for, and the way that you get it is by doing things in the game that you wouldn't normally have done. Exactly. And exactly. And you will be stronger if you go after the bounties than if you just wait and just do shards and do nothing else. Yep. Well, I mean, they they work in tandem. Like you can you can have yeah. shards cooking at the same time. You will but these always you... have a shard, one shard cooking in the uh, in the, the arcane. The arcane. Yeah. That why not? There's no reason not to have one shard cooking. But since you cannot cook more than one, it's just one thing you do. It and it doesn't affect all of your progression. Mm -hmm. That's what we want. We want to put the shard crafting as a thing that you do when you do something else, too. Take a selfie with a live chest heart guardian is hard to get exact. Yeah, I uh, I knew that those were going to be difficult. Which but one? There's... Live chest guardian? Yeah, take it's... a selfie with a live chest monster or with a live king. It's super easy. You just like you just use a time portal and you go check out uh, the chess portal, the chess guy without upgrading anyone. Yeah, it's it's not well. It's okay. It's a whole lot Boom. easier than take a selfie with a uh, with a dead guardian or whatever. Um, but it does require a little bit of uh, not necessarily take a trial selfie and error. with a dead guardian. Yeah. Well, yeah. dead guardian is easy. So you yeah, just dead guardian is super easy. But a live guardian is easy as well. Uh, a live king is there? Is there one with a live king? Yeah, yeah. this ah, one okay. is the hardest one. Okay, yeah. Yeah, live king is definitely the hardest. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, you have to you have to pace yourself and have mm -hmm. the, the, okay, yeah. the right amount of uh, damage you can do. But yeah, it, it, it shouldn't all be easy. Yeah, you got to, uh, and you can't use sloth form. To take, yeah. <laughs> yeah. to take a picture with a live king. Yeah, yeah. You, you try to be... Uh, you have to be uh, just Chris. at the right amount of, <laughs> of uh, damage. Yeah. I, yep. feel, uh, I feel like I'm going to skip that one. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll use the five diamonds. <laughs> that was kind of the, the whole point. Like, if, if we include a couple that are just, like, yeah. just hard enough... Um, then we can we can take advantage of the the fact that you can skip them like you're not locked out. Yeah. I don't I don't I don't know. It seemed like a, a fun uh, a fun challenge to do. Yeah, yeah. I exactly. Mean, I, I didn't That's... say I didn't say that as a concerning way. Like I feel like it's something that you have to you know, cause you know yeah you need to like you know <laughs> it's young guy. As I just said a French word, you need to do, like s sneaky way try to do it. You know? I, so I, we... I will try to um, to. Um... Translated translate jerkily, Jerk <laughs> jerking <laughs> offly, <laughs> jerkily. <laughs> God damn it, you guys! Well, it's Do not it really, jerk it's not jerk really jerking off. It's like smaller than that, you know. It's like yeah, midway yeah. there. You, you, yeah. You're doing it, but you're not like your brain's in there. It would uh, yeah, be yeah. a you're real podcast it. It if we didn't ass. talk about dicks. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to translate the word crossouille. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, that was oh my, my god. <laughs> uh, if if you if you try to work on something maybe uh, like a I don't know a you are working on something difficult and you kind of I don't know uh, like you uh, try to unscrew uh, a, a a screw and it, it kind of. It's hard, so you just, you know, how yeah. do you are moving that? out on a, another apartment and you're trying to move a couch and it doesn't really fit, and then you kind of wobble it a bit, like, yeah. come on, get in there. That would be close for you. Yeah, what, what would we do? Dude, I, I don't I know what we were no... talking about, though. 
I have no idea what the the equivalent of that would be in in English. In English, you don't have a word for that. You you do have a word for that, like, like wobbling or like not wobbling. Yeah, but, but I'm like, I'm, uh, I'm not sure the context. You are working at something. Was... You just can't find a good way, and you just yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you're trying to. Uh... I don't know, you're trying to plug a USB cable and it's always never connect. Like, yeah, and you just Come on! Get I spin the thing around <laughs> okay, 15 but time! We say jerk because cuss mean jerk. <laughs> finangle? I guess finangle is the, the finangle? best English Finangling? variant. Finangling. Finangling? Oh, that's like that's, that's the very first time I heard that. Yeah. Yeah, finagling is where you're like. I, uh, I think the thing will be the uh, just by the sound it makes. <laughs> I think it fit with cussing. Uh, <laughs> it feels yeah, yeah. I'll take that. Uh, anyway, enough about cussing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Where were yeah, we? Uh, before we're I don't know. This that. conversation are kind of the reason why I do the streaming. <laughs> <laughs> But to get back on track, though, we were talking yeah. about the bounties. Like, if we have a couple of bounties that you really have to cross like this. Uh, fingling? Yeah, yeah, to fingling. Uh, it feels okay, you know. It's, if there's a couple of uh, them that you, that is are harder than the other one, uh, you know, it, it makes it more interesting than if it's only uh, use the time portal twice, you know, something yeah. like that. Uh, okay, hang on, hang on. Why, when I have the perma, perma everything, anyway, when would I have perma everything after the cooldown expires, the duration disappears as well? That is a bug. Oh, okay. That is a bug because we never anticipated anybody to make that many <laughs> pearls. Ah, oh, is that like uh, the duration disappears as well? Okay, so the, like, uh, the duration is longer than the cooldown, something like that? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, that is the, the, the whole permasloth thing. Uh, and when you exceed that even further, it gets to the point where sloth form is still running, you're still having meteors flying down, but your UI looks exactly like it does right now, oh, okay. where sloth form just is a button and you can just press it again. Okay. Yeah, it. I think uh, it was a, it was a, a, a was kind of a bug or a... Um, we never thought people would do that, but now we know everyone's doing that, and we also doing are doing that. And to be honest, I think we should try to. It's not. It's no longer an exploit. It's just something yeah. we do in the game. So I think we will yeah. just need to have that official. I remember when I remember when we had the pearl implemented. Uh, like I saw it, I saw the plus five second, and I was like, "Hey, I don't really like that item because it's gonna be like very exploitive," and like I'm not sure if we should have released it. And uh, Shane said, "Well, it's already been released." We're like, ah, okay. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, ah, okay then. So now we we I'm not gonna and say I we're stuck. Saying, yet, don't worry, but... you have to break a, a cube to do that. Nobody's yeah. gonna break a cube to do yeah, exactly. that much pill. Uh, <laughs> it's Skip forward one year later. Yeah. I'm breaking all my cube to do pearl. And everybody's doing it. And that's uh, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to make uh, a sleeping skill so that you can actually still take advantage of the pearl necklaces. Hmm. So that you can have like yeah. perma sleep fire or whatever we call it. I don't care. Yeah, but um, I think people love that. That's one thing. That's what? why we never fix that. I think people love to have that yeah. little exploit. Yeah, yeah, I like it actually. I like it. It's something that you're like. We should have. Uh, we should have had a uh, Steam achievement when you get 50 uh, pearl necklace, like uh, meteor all around or something like that. You know, we should have had something for that. We forgot to have. You know like what we could do? I don't know. Tell me. Since it's, uh, it's an exploit, and uh, and now if we decide to embrace it and make it official, maybe we should. When you reach perma, uh, perma, uh, perma, perma kills, skills. maybe we should just bring uh, make it official and have a little logo or something like that, and have item that boosts per uh, that boosts that. 
just call it a name and uh, and use it. The boost what? The the when once you reach that level of uh, the skill or uh, yeah, the infinite skill. skill. Infinite skill. When, when you reach infinity, <laughs> call it infinity, it will help no, me. People uh, suggested Permageddon. Okay, when you reach the level of Permageddon, like it. it should be kind of... Uh, you have a new icon, new stuff, and just have item that boosts the perm <laughs> perma thing. Okay, the Permageddon. <laughs> no, I, yeah, that boosts Permageddon, and have, uh, have it uh, maybe offer you to... Um, Reset Permageddon to have stronger slot farmer. I don't know. Just make it in the game, you know? Put yeah, it in the yeah. game. Like it's something, that, a point that you reach, and now you can have thing for that. Yeah. We could uh, have like all the skills crammed together, and like there's one yeah. skill saying Permageddon. And it yeah, combines Permageddon. the first six skills. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, like yeah having that, and then having maybe more skills or stuff like that, and just having one permagadon. <laughs> I ah, uh, permagadon becomes permagadon. That takes it quickly. <laughs> <laughs> before we uh, before we do anything like that, I really do feel like we need to make sure that we include some kind of system for uh, idle like slash offline. Um, or oh, some yeah, kind yeah, of like yeah. the the sleep yeah. equivalent of this. Yeah. This this should be, and I think it will be uh, pretty good to put that with the uh, also prestige system. When you prestige one of your character, it will fit to have a, when you have perma. Maybe it will be one of the requirement to have. Uh, ah. prestige. I don't know because once you have Ooh. that, it just become one skill per megadon. And then you, your character upgraded with the new pressing will uh, unlock new skills. I don't know. It's just uh, maybe as uh, an opportunity to play all your pearl necklace to get permagadon as a skill. It's a cool idea, but I yeah, see. Yeah, it's, it's it's not it's not uh, it's not something I uh, I put a lot of thought. I just yeah yeah, yeah just, just brainstorm that out there. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. just Ooh. brainstorming. But, uh, I just realized uh, we can give away some uh, Halloween hats and masks today. Oh! Because we in. don't have a lot of opportunities to do that between now and when Halloween is over. Uh, but we have the code system and we can give out some of the Halloween masks. So we oh, can, uh, we can roll some giveaways. But I've been rolling giveaways since... Uh... I know, well, we can roll some... <laughs> <laughs> Not just diamonds, more, but we can give out the, giveaways. Let me, let some of the cosmetics. That. Oh yeah, people are so excited <laughs> about, about hats. It? Halloween hats. Is that it? Okay, let's make it official with the music and all. Yes. Well, we have something to... Uh, to give uh, at TwitchCon, by the way. Yes. Oh, fuck it's yeah! A, it's a placeholder, but it is a hat, so yes. I, I have time to make more ads at the beginning of the... We don't have time to put them in the game before TwitchCon, though. <laughs> no! <laughs> but... Mr. Uh, Troy D know. is our first winner! Congratulations, Mr. Troy D! Damn! Nice. You're a long-time viewer. Congrats, yeah, for man. real. Super... Super happy it's been you. Alright, so what do you have to do now, Mr. Troy? Mr. Troy, D, come on! You have to take a selfie with the hat and then tweet it to us. Oh. Actually, I actually have to be right back. I wonder, uh, I don't know if he's here. Bad, 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 no, bad, if he's bad. not here, it's all be so bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's okay, you. man. Damn, I'm gonna get him. Oh, yeah! He's a long-time listener, so we're gonna get it. Uh, since the last update, Bill Guard has been acting up considering some vital suspicious slash virus. Uh, pff, no, I didn't hear from that. Spin again! We will spin again, my friend. Uh, whenever... Uh, Tivoli, uh, whenever Kojak is getting back, I'm gonna ask him. 
I really wonder what it is because I don't know uh, what new we did. Where is Kojak? I'm scared. Kojak is dead. Stop living in the past. Uh, okay. Kojak is gone. So we should hire someone to. We should place hire him. somebody. Yeah. Or we should. Yeah. We should learn how to code. Uh, I don't want to do that. That's for nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Says Zangief. Zangief no like code. Zangief uh. <laughs> bully and punch. Problems. <laughs> I don't think uh, Zangief speak like that. I just think he, oh, no. he has a Russian accent. Oh, do you remember uh, that those sketch about uh, all the Street Fighter character? Ye oh, house? yeah, the year after? Yeah. yeah the street, a... street Fighter the year after. I really like the, when um, Ken is no more able to do Aruken. <laughs> and uh, yes. and uh, Ryu. Ryu is doing video tape to tell everyone oh, how yeah. to make Aruken. And he goes see him and he just say, oh, Ken do? I do Ken. Dude, <laughs> he just, yeah, like he five just minutes saying, attack like... him with a bunch of bad <laughs> pun about I can't do Ken. <laughs> like, do Ken? How about I do cannot do? do or I, I can not do? <laughs> just spend five minutes yeah. saying I do not can. <laughs> And he's just That's like looking at, the, at his feet, like, oh. <laughs> That's my favorite thing. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, I really like that. I think okay. um, Zengief is a janitor. Uh, Dalsim yeah. is a taxi driver, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Uh, uh, that, okay, uh, just get back on track. Uh, Kojak, yeah. uh, Tivoli is saying that uh, Zombital is triggering some uh, antivirus. Since the last update, uh, web or Steam? Uh, yeah. Probably Steam. If it's something installed, I guess it's Steam. Uh, yeah, we'll say that it's maybe Steam. Steam, yeah. Steam. Boo, that's strange. I mean, the only thing I can see is the new. Um, uh, fuck the new uh, leaderboard system in the background. No, but we're just doing a still, bunch of code on the server, so that just still does player IO stuff. Like yeah. it would have triggered. Um, maybe I would say definitely like run your antivirus and like maybe run malware bytes because some uh, viruses like do false positives or inject themselves into other things. Okay. So. Oh. Uh, we didn't add anything that would, like, we didn't add a new plugin or a new library to Zombital, so I don't think that there's anything in there that would uh, trigger false positive. positive. And definitely, well, and we've also had a Steam, Steam release for ever. Yeah. And there's no ad code on Steam, so, yeah. So yeah, I don't sure. know. I don't know. <sighs> Let me get all the codes, not the codes, but the chests. Oh, how about more? How about one more hats? Okay. Well, more hats. Which more has hats. The, what are the hats that we are giving out? Because oh. I, 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 except for the Bob uh, Bob Oak hat, I don't think I made any more at this for this Halloween. We made six of them last year, and we never gave them out. Oh, that's what <laughs> I was thinking. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, we didn't have the code system back then. We didn't have the code system until like February of this year. Um, so I was like, we would have had to go through and like manually set that in everybody's save, which was really not good. Yeah. Um, but no, now that we have the code system, we can actually just give out those hats and cosmetic items. And we can do way more with the cosmetic items now. I, I don't know how, how people Chimics. like hats. People love hats. Yeah. Let's put more hats. Okay. People love cosmetic stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure even if we did an update that didn't have any new mechanics and it just had, like, new cosmetic hat. stuff, like maybe different cloaks and stuff for Bob to wear, people would love it. Yeah, cloak for Bob. Cloak for Bob. Dana. Yeah, sorry, Coach. I can just remind me that guy saying, like, I don't care what you think. The number says you like it. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, for payday. <laughs> oh my god. The number shows that people love hats. <laughs> we need to Apparently, make more hats. Who, Look at that who, who said that? <laughs> it was a developer, uh the the one of the lead developers at Starbreeze. Uh they yeah. make payday too. Uh, and Alamir was talking about how when they introduced microtransactions into Payday, mm -hmm. people lost their minds, like yeah. kind of myself included. I was really not happy um, because it was one of the things they talk about they would never do because you already had uh, you already have to buy the game and there weren't any ads. But now all of a sudden there were custom skins that uh, actually changed your stats that you could only get by spending money on keys and drills to open up these safes. Yeah. Okay. So people like were not happy. Well, uh, and did, the the guy on the forums uh, basically replied to all of this controversy by saying something to the effect of, "The numbers say that people love it." <laughs> that was beautiful. And apparently Payday 2 is a lot better now. Apparently they've addressed some of those issues. But it's just one of those things that, like, the way they handled it and the fact that they did it at all, I uninstalled Payday 2 and I have no intention of going back and playing it. <laughs> I, 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 honestly, I don't know. I, I think it's brutally honest. <laughs> I don't think we should do that ever. <laughs> the balls to do that. He, he does have a lot of balls by responding yeah, there, to people. There's something saying. I hate about this, and there's also something I love about this. Mm. But uh, I, I don't know. I don't know which one is the strongest. It's it's funny just to be so cocky. So. Okay, yeah. so the opinion the opinion of Etienne does not reflect the opinion of the studio. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't, I don't uh, well, I, there's a clear separation say. right over here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I just appreciate ballsy move. That's the only thing. Uh, the, the, I, I don't like the move, but I appreciate the balls of doing that like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just like deal with it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there, there's something like, tug about that. <laughs> corporate, corporate ledge. Like, Do I have to deal with it? No, oh, I don't have to deal with it in mission. Uh, yeah, I'm really. A uh, uh, lot of people get the UHF reference. It's pretty. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And if you don't, never saw that movie, you should definitely go. Yeah, watch it's it. one of the most uh, one of those underrated movie. Yeah, it's, it's funny. It's fucking good with uh, Will Yankovic. Uh, it's really, really good. Really good too. Have you seen the actual sketch of uh, like of? Uh, or at least the guy from uh, no, I, this. No, I don't know anything about it. Okay. Oh, uh, um, uh, if I remember, I sent you the, the link of the, the, the sketch with that guy. Oh, you sent me uh, an image. I don't think you ever sent me a sketch. Oh, I never sent you the sketch with the guy. I don't think so. <laughs> it's, uh... I plan on watching it, though. Like... Uh, that, that sketch is so funny. I, I never sent you that link. Yay! No? <laughs> let's let's listen to it. Well, I see you brought some equipment with you. Today. Oh God! Would you mind giving us a little demonstration? Not at all. There's only a few simple. I can't hear the sound. You must yeah, bear only in one. Mind before attempting to operate a sophisticated piece of machinery like this. Oh uh, yeah, shiny killer. Table saw. <laughs> <That place. laughs> Can you hear it now, uh, Shine? Oh, yeah. Fingers. <laughs> um, I think it's on the, the floor somewhere. <laughs> oh, shit. Is my face oh, red? Shit. Is my face oh. red? 
Uh, you have to listen to this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, oh, then just... The next thing is Spatula City, if I remember. Oh, <laughs> Spatula City, one of my favorite. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm, I have to watch that movie. Oh, yeah. yeah. I literally people, just uh, found it's out. It's a good place to for all your Spatula needs. <laughs> yeah, the Spatula City guy is like, uh, Honey, we need to buy another Spatula. It just comes in frame and go like... <laughs> really fucking the best face bomb ever. <laughs> Pack all the kids. We're going to Spatula City. We're going to Spatula City. Yeah. <laughs> this fucking face bomb uh, really cracked me up. Speaking of uh, speaking of crack, look at that. It is <laughs> yeah, my efficient. <laughs> I said it cracks me up. Speaking of cracks, look at this crack. Uh, <laughs> I really like it's very subtle, but it's there. I adore this new uh, evolution of Carl. Uh. Oh yeah, <laughs> the custom of Carl, yeah. Actually, I even took uh, my little screen that I have that I put over when I need to do like top secret stuff. Uh, I put top secret on the right, and then I put this majestic new sexy Carl just next to top secret. <laughs> That's funny, yeah, but cheeks. Yup, I like it. We got Ardilu, Ardilu, uh, asking, is there any chance you could make the chess opener kill the kings as well? Probably not. I don't want to make the because um, I like to leave something that requires an action uh, in order to be done. So the kings, uh, you actually have to go there and kill them. Uh, otherwise, for example, the bounty wouldn't make sense anymore because you just go there and uh, that's it. The, the bounty get cleared by itself. So I like to leave something in there that requires an action for now, at least for now. Ooh. Because remember that whenever we do something in the game, we cannot remove it unless it's breaking the entire game. But if it's something that people like and it's like a, it's a nice quality of life or it's a nice bonus, uh, it's very hard for us to remove it without yeah. having an angry mob of torch and fire with us, you know? So that's yeah, why we're always so walking it's... like this. <clears throat> Actually, uh... Oh, go ahead. And even if we have to remove it, it's pretty hard to remove something once it's done. What's yeah. this? Out to the people. Uh, it so... happened <laughs> one time, and it was, uh... Mm. It was something else, and it just happened in better. Yeah. Yep. And it was, that was really damaging. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I was just going to say that I uh, I think we can even integrate that with multi-world farming to a certain extent. Like, if you've yep. destroyed the wizard of that realm, uh, then you could potentially just, like, go right into the king fight from the map screen. So that you can, uh, and then, like, if the king is dead or something, then... Yep you can have a whole lot easier time of actually destroying the, the territories. So we can kind of make that part of the multi-world farming mechanic. Yep. Yes, yep. indeed. Yep, okay, next, 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 next. Uh, drop rate on Ghost, uh, any boost on Halloween? That would have been a good idea. No. Actually. That would have been a good idea, though. <laughs> but we do have the nasty item. Yeah, it's the first uh, item. Yeah, the first item actually does that. Increase ghost The next courage. item has another uh, ghost. It's a new bonus, one that we've actually not uh, done before. Spoilers. I'm not going to spoil it. Nice. All I wanted to say is that the next item will this is dropping super affect fast. ghosts. Okay, okay, okay. Can't wait to have this one. I am uh, dangerously need uh, lots of ghosts. All the time, since of the batteries, I'm I'm, I'm cramming those uh, those those ghosts, you know. It's like collect all oh, fast ghosts, collect blah 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 blah, and then I don't have any more ghosts in my bank. And I'm yeah, sad. we burn through them really quickly, especially with the batteries. Yeah, yeah, oh. like look at that, holy shit! <laughs> so what? No, I just uh, I'm watching the delay, and you were just fast crafting, collect all, fast crafting, okay. collect all. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, so somebody is asking, how many items you made up already for Maurice? I believe the answer is eight. We have eight uh, visuals ready, and we have seven in-the-game bonuses ready. Yeah. 
Like, yeah. if we didn't do an update for seven weeks, uh, there would be enough bounties for that. And that's uh, the first thing. We can always add more uh, in the future. But it's mm -hmm. a bank of eight items, so yeah. It's, it's a nice cycle. Eight is already good, actually. You know, at the end of the year, you get to have uh, six items of each. If you have been there every single day, mm -hmm. uh, we can probably uh, increase the uh, the amount a bit. But uh, yeah, yep. Oh, by the way, uh, a little something, uh, Etienne and Kojak. You yeah. know that devil deal that gives uh, one chess, and yeah. that we always skip. I don't. But yeah, yeah go ahead. No? Okay. Well. I was about to suggest uh, to give more than one chess, like three chess, like three star chess, for example, for an ad. And that way I would be like, ah, that, that's interesting. Because right now I'm always looking for potions. I want those potions. I want a shit ton of potions and or I want uh, freaking... Uh... Oh, new punch. Katinja, thank you very much for four months in a row, man. Thanks for the sub. I'm looking to make rubbish and I'm looking to make uh, shards with the potions. Uh, so if I had like a devil deal to watch an ad to get three chests, that increased my chance and I get like three chests in a row. The same way uh, that we do it with the stars over here on top there. Uh, yeah, we can, but um, I'm not sure we should. Because uh, right now people are collecting, um, are collecting uh, stuff like to to, to get uh, to get crap, uh, <laughs> to get rubbish, okay. like you say. <laughs> and um, the the thing is, uh, if we just give them rubbish uh, that fast, it will just go. Well, it would be too easy to get all the rubbish and just it's move on. It's still one of the ten devil deal. Like, it's out of 10 Devil Deal, you get one of that Devil Deal. And, you know, it yeah. used to be the most important uh, Devil Deal. Now it's the uh, lowest one. But now, we, like, I skip it all the time. Between the skull value or minus uh, houses or diamonds or craft time and then chess, you know, that's the least interesting for me, you know. So it, mm -hmm. you, I just want to put it back to where it was before. So just by yeah. adding three, uh, uh, that will be nice. My concern is that if you're a new player, it's still the uh, best one. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I don't think everyone thinks like you. I never skip do those. Okay. Uh, the diamond is the first one. I never, never skip diamond. Okay. Then is this one. I never skip this one, personally. Okay. Because I always have something to craft. But oh. I'm not sure if I'm the only one who think like that. I don't know. I don't know. Not a big concern. Uh, if there's uh, lots of voicing, uh, yeah, we want that. Well, we're going to listen to it, but I'm not married to the idea. And I know that personally, but, uh, I always skip it. I know like, more yeah. is better, but... <laughs> Nobody would say, oh, I don't want that much yeah. stuff in my chest. I, I want less. Well, the thing is, <laughs> I always uh, said at the beginning of the podcast, I said that for like a month or two, I was skipping all chests together. So I was okay. using the time portal and I was just not using the chest. You know, I didn't went to world two, three and four to collect my chest. I'm just like, <laughs> nah, I don't bother. So if I skip all the in-game chess i'm gonna skip the ads that provide me a chess because i'm already saying no to like nine chess per time portal you know so that's that was my reasoning behind it yeah there's a thing we should do though mm -hmm. that maybe will did what you ask without doing three three chests at a time yeah where uh, we talk about uh, increasing the number of star in the chest right uh, yeah maybe we should do that yeah there's actually uh, one thing we need to do before that and that's what I'm working on right now and it's uh, what item gives how many percentage to uh, each monster namely hang on the reason I'm saying that is because I'm really sure that we're gonna be like, whoops! Oh, I didn't know that was that was the most important thing. 
Uh, that thing over there. Mm, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I can put it in full screen. Yes, I can. Stat screen. Yeah, there we go. So I wanted to do that. So for those who didn't saw that, it's a little mock-up I did. So uh, you can see the DPS of every single monster. And you can scroll to see what gives what bonus on each one of them. So the monster skills, the hell armory, white orbs, metal bonus, short bonus, cow bonus, black orbs. And each each item over there, an item subtotal. And I also got punched in the face for six months in a row by really fat Elvis. Thank you very much, <laughs> my friend. Thank you very much for that punch in the face. Uh, so, yeah, that thing here will let us know. I'm really certain that we're going to find out that the uh, stars item will be like... 0.001 percent or yeah. it will be this one but i'm really sure that we're gonna find out oops <laughs> that worth nothing you know so before we base any decision on the item really need that yeah this this kind of has to happen before items <coughs> so we can figure out yeah. exactly what we need to do yeah yeah totally. uh know what i think this will uh, this should be an alpha uh, just for us for a while before releasing to the public. Yeah, because people Agreed. will be like, ah, oh, it's, it's all broken. And we'll be like, yeah, we know, we just found out. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I had something done, actually. The, the screen is done hey. uh, already. I spent like two days uh, working on it. Uh, give me like a couple of more streams and I'll be able to finish it. And I'll be, uh, it'll be pretty cool to have as well for the item by the way the item 2.0 are uh, at least one step towards the item 2.0 uh, we have the normal and the rare and those thing over there i really would suggest highly to put all the stars item as brown like this and all the rubbish item to be a, a green one like this and then we just uh, put all the uh, the bonuses up to the rare, and that's it, you know. Yeah, so that'll a, be. We should we should uh, get the uh, as Kojak said the item 2.0. Yeah. Yeah, that that's really, and this is the first uh, step in that direction, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally agree because that way we could have like the red chest would always give the red items like this. So we're gonna know that red chest gives monster item a blue chest will give the rubbish item i want to say good rubbish item and then we're going to be able to have another chest with a green chest that will give another sort of item we're going to have like a new rarity but at least yeah. it's going to be way easier to understand the chest system and uh you know chest of color x give item of subset x which is not yeah. something we have already you know? yeah. yeah 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 totally agree Alright, uh, another thing I do agree on, a Halloween hat, give yes. away! More hats. Ta, 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 ta. Rachel again! Is it the same Rachel than the earlier? But this one is uh, for a hat though. It's all rigged! Let me spin again. <laughs> there we go. And let me increase the music as well. There we go, now we're talking. Oh Jesus! It's so loud on my own. Yeah. <laughs> Wap, wap, wow. Pause the foul! Pause the foul is a winner! Congratulations, my friend! Congratulations! I'm gonna go back to the question. We got a question here by G Tremolo asking a good question, actually. Double scroll bonus. Uh, for this Christmas again? 
That's a good question. Probably not. Just because the way that we did it last year was to set up what would eventually become the arc, uh, the the resort. Yeah. And to do any kind of double bonus this year is much much harder because now people can have different kinds of bonuses. Yeah. So I I foresee it being really hard uh, for something that would only last like a week. Yeah, I agree. Uh, like it will be easier if the drop rate. Something we could do is just put a Christmas hat on my face in the game, and instead of dropping 15, why drop 30? Or uh, we could just, for a couple of days, make it so that, like, all deals are just given to you. Like, here you go, have Merry Christmas. Okay, like, no ads at all. Yeah. That's a good point. Like, no blood, doesn't take any blood, doesn't take ads, it's just devil deal, Merry Christmas. And then we could make that oh, last, yeah. like, not necessarily like a week, like the... Actually, I don't think the double deals lasted a week. I think they only lasted, like, a couple, couple of days. days during Christmas. I like that. I like that. We would actually uh, say no to all ad money. But that's okay. That's okay, actually. Like, I don't mind. Like, for if we do that for, like, a week, we'll just say, like, Merry Christmas, and we don't receive any revenue from ads for a week. And that's it. But I feel like it's a good thing, a cool thing to do anyway. I it might... hate it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it seems Maybe. like, what? <laughs> You're attacking the money? <laughs> the numbers say people hate it. It's yeah, say like, people. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, okay. It's it, it, Here's the deal. We're going to cut the uh, the ad money, but you'll get 100% of that non-money. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Think about um, it. No! During that no! time. <laughs> During that time, you'll get 100% of zero. Uh, that's a lot yeah. of percent. Uh, uh, that's thanks. lots of zero. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> how... I don't know. I didn't know how to count. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I just want you to know, Vampire's Blood is the worst item in the world. <laughs> okay. Actually, it's not vampire blood it's not supposed oh god to but don't okay. what kojak <laughs> didn't use the name that i use <laughs> it's because i'm pretty sure if we said it on twitch like we would it'd be insta banned <laughs> oh, okay what was it oh god Okay, so it sounds you, you know you know uh, you know uh, the 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 little point you put at the end of the sentence the sentence. How do you call that? A uh, full stop. <laughs> when you write a sentence and you put a little dot at the end, what is the name of that? <laughs> it's semicolon. I don't get hey. it. Am I the only one confused right now? And yeah. all stupid. I just don't want to say it, but people in the chat got it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay, got it. Yeah. Got it. It was supposed to do to Thank be you. that and name that uh, like that, but Gojack <laughs> didn't go. Because you cannot it. put that in the game. Like, we <laughs> we do make some jokes, but... <laughs> yeah, that one was pretty in-your-face one. <laughs> and as I said in your face, there's a big wiener puffing in my face. <laughs> We're not that obvious. Boom, <laughs> a big fucking wiener. Uh, uh, some, someone has a try joke about menstruation. Mm -hmm. Aren't fun. Period. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like it. I like it. Uh, okay, let me spawn this shit again. Dude! Another hat coming our way! Let me check that oh, I think, uh, hang on. I think that the, the, the sound is a bit too hard, right? Well, call this the taberna. Okay, there we go. Uh, 
Hang on. Alex the Shy Cat is our winner. Congratulations, Alex. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, let me check a bit. Uh, there's a nice question from Dice VVE. Will Steam version ever get a special unique item to reduce blood generation timer by five minutes or raise the blood cap to five to four or five? That is uh it's really take, hard. No. Yeah, I would say no as well. Uh, whenever we implement something, we always have to be fair for everyone. We always have to be balanced everywhere. And we found that perfect balance right now with the deals uh, and the ads. So the reason we did the blood system on Steam is because we didn't want to have the ads on Steam. Otherwise, we'll be crucified if we show the ads over there. Plus, it's not a good revenue stream at all. We will have gotten like 30 cents per month. So uh, we decided to remove the ads from there. So we had to replace it because people would say we cannot have devil deals on Steam. Therefore, it's not balanced well, you know. Um, so we came up with the blood system. But then people on mobile was like, hey, people on Steam got them for free. So we finally found like a tipping point, like a balancing point where they got it for free. But only once per 10 minutes and everything. And now everything is so fucking fragile that i don't want to just add yep, a little something here or there yeah so if we do a unique item that increment the blood we're gonna have a new item that mobile user won't be able to to uh to have so we will have to give them something unique as well and then yep. the balance will just go overboard so this is very delicate very fragile and now people are happy with it so i'm not touching anything <laughs> yeah for real like, the, the only thing that I would consider doing is upping the blood from three to four. Uh, but that would just be for everybody. It wouldn't be an item that does that or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe, like, with the <laughs> resort. If you're resort number three. Even that I'm kind of wary about. Yeah. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So, yeah. We'll, we'll just say no instead of creating false hope. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we got Zell Maz asking, uh, are you guys going to add new heroes uh, one day? Uh, that's a... I want to say no. Uh, the reason is we didn't want to cram the game with a shit ton of heroes. We wanted to have uh, like limited, like only 10 heroes, but all have uh, their personality, you know? It's like the family of Zombidal. So if we add more and more and more heroes, we're going to... Uh, dilute the uh, the first one or some of them will be less interesting although uh, you know with the costume thing we can always customize them and just add them more funky things here and there and we wanted to also have a prestige system which increase their faces somehow I'm not sure I know that Etienne really wants to change the visual I too as well would really love to have a new visual for next tier of uh, each monster but it's a big puzzle on the codes on the code side uh, that mm -hmm. we don't know how to fix yet. We haven't found a solution on how to fix that yet without but exploding. But anything. I'm pretty sure you will figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> we found our way on the moon. Yeah, We've, yeah we're, we're, we can land on the moon. We can yeah, do that. Yeah. Exactly. We've put a man on the moon. Surely we can put a man on the sun. You go yeah. figure it out. Dude, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but yeah, and also there's a uh, there's a lot of uh, character that we didn't exploit much, uh, and uh, I think uh, I don't say never because maybe one day we will add one character. But right now we have a bunch of them that aren't really interesting for now, and I think we will make them more interesting, give them more personality before that. Yeah, and uh, it's still a long way to go because uh, we have uh, like uh, when when uh, I can tell you when the when the bat have a, a real good personality That's and they right. are really interesting. Maybe we will have another character, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. But for now, the bat, <laughs> the bat and a bunch of them are still really boring without personality. I like the costume though. They're disguised as bees. 
that costume. You know what? I didn't define that costume. No. I, I just uh, put on Google baby costume and tried to find something <laughs> that will fit. Okay. That's nice. actually not a bad direction to take the bats in. Yeah. yeah. The, the one I, I, I don't like, I think it's the Tom King costume. Just put it, put skin on it. Because that has nothing to do with any personality or stuff like that. I actually, I like it. It's a... Uh... Yeah, it's cool, but it doesn't say much about him. I, I think, honestly, that's kind of okay for some of them. Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, some of them are really not that re interesting for now, so when they are, they will have more. The Red Knight was pretty easy. I, I tried to do an obscure movie reference. I I thought you thought, didn't go obscure uh, enough. Yeah, I think I didn't go obscure enough because uh, a lot of people got it. Because I, I wanted to be, uh, you know, the thing that the one who get it will be happy about yeah. it. You know, oh, I get it. Oh, that's fun. They, they, they go there. Uh, I think you I succeeded, think, though. Yeah, 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 I would say that. I think you got like the, the perfect balance of being obscure and not obscure enough. Yeah. Like, it's, to it's be a movie honest, the eighties. So. Bob, uh, it's pretty easy. I want, I wanted to make a famous Bob. So uh, <laughs> this would be always the, the thing. And Bob Hope was the kind of the easiest one, and also kind of looked like him. <laughs> 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 I actually so love this. Now I gotta Bob. Google it. Uh, yeah, Bobo really look like Bob the Necromancer. <laughs> look at the face. <laughs> I really love that you uh, you changed it there as well, you know. And uh, yeah. yeah, having more capes will be awesome as well. More cloaks. Yeah. Oh my god. Awesome. Uh, so, slight little tangent for a moment. It was amazing. Uh, it was like the day before we had to release, and I was talking with Etienne on Skype. And I'm like, oh, hey, by the way, uh, we need the, the big version of Bob's costume. And Tim was like, what? And I was like, yeah. the selfies. And he's like, huh? And I took a <laughs> screen cap. I'm just like, we, I need this. He's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we should have a... Look at, um, look at, look at that for a second. I don't know if we... What? That guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Put it, put it <laughs> green. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Actually, I think it was the inspiration for Quagmire also. Yeah. Um, I, uh, it's, it's really uh, quick. Uh, a quick selfie button here will be nice. Like you, you click on the selfie and bam, it does it right away. And if you want to customize, then you can click on it and get to that screen, you know? But if yeah. you just like press cling, it goes like and we uh, there, there will thing. be a thing that will be cool though. If you put, uh, if you click on the selfie, it, it should close the phone, the phone behind it. it yeah, that's, oh. it's definitely something that should happen. Uh, it's just a, oh, an whoops. oversight on my part. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. But yeah. yeah. Uh, a little something uh, to get back on the heroes because uh, the whole thing uh, spawned this huge uh, conversation. Uh, there was uh, one guy saying, "What if you had guest heroes? Uh, kind of like your guest artist, uh, the hero could be available for a limited time. Mm. So like the toss the turtle guy, or especially uh, the next uh, in the next update. Uh, I another update, it. sorry, the next uh, guest artist that would have been great." I could yeah. already see Yeah, him. actually. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He just attack like that. Yeah, he's just like going like this. <laughs> I I love it. I feel like it'd be hard to balance. Yeah, well, it, w it would be... It, it should be like... Uh, like, like Carl. Basically. Maybe he could like replace one monster. of the, the monster for, for a while. Yeah. Just take the place of maybe the Tom King or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, because it has to be fun, but when you get out of the event, it has to get back to, uh, you know, if it's like giving you a shit ton of DPS and then you lose yeah. it, you'll be like, ah, uh, where is it, it has... now, you know? So, or maybe, maybe the, the, that hero could be only on his world. You don't get the hero in the rest of the game. You just got it in that yeah. world. 
That'd be what cool. if you replace the um, what if you replace the Tomb King or something like that? Replace the bats, for example, since nobody don't know what to change, do with yeah. the bat. I would be cool with that as well. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. Good, good idea. Uh, I'm gonna yeah, say like... it requires a it requires a, a fairly amount of work to do just to change that. Um, I mean, I like it. But if we can find a way that it's nice on the gameplay as well, not on the cosmetic, because on cosmetic side we already like an, uh, we already have an entire world to implement, and that's like a long yeah, but that uh, takes a long time. Mm -hmm. and if Just run plays the Tom King with someone that do that, I think yeah. it would be funny enough to be worthwhile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the monster though, I want to uh, go ahead uh, and the monster is uh, really hard because we have been optimizing the shit out of the monsters uh, sorry because uh everything you see here is only on one uh, sprite sheet so it's really fast to render if we have to make another sprite sheet uh it's gonna create a bunch of new dracals and it's gonna lag the rest you know so it's really it's another thing that's very fragile and works already uh if we add more texture on that side it's gonna affect the rest of the game so mm -hmm. that's someone, why someone, I'm like... someone said something that would be interesting. What if the special guest replaced Bob? It would be fun what? because for one month you can have that special guest take selfie instead of Bob. Too. Yeah. Just to have Ooh. one pose, no Ooh. app for that month, but you can take selfie with the special guest for one month. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Oh. And imagine, oh God, it can be you like... will do that every time you click it. <laughs> <laughs> sloth so form. The you click. <laughs> nice. Only if we keep sloth. Yeah, of course, SK, we're going to keep sloth. Yeah, we'll... Oh, uh, man. You know what? I... It will, uh, it will actually, except for his selfie and the hat, will work exactly the same as Bob. Yeah. Bob mm. goes out. Yeah, because Bob, has only, Bob only yeah. has like three frames, so could work. Yeah. I was also thinking about... Uh, Let's think about it. Uh, a way to theme it, because like, I'm trying to remember what those stupid shows are on like TLC, where it's like trading wives or something. It could be like trading heroes. <laughs> trading wives. I don't remember what the the show was called. Yeah, I remember that, that show. Uh, I never watched it, but I, I remember uh, seeing a bunch of clip on YouTube. Yeah, yeah it was always I, like uh, they take they take mm. somebody super Cajun from the swamps and they like yeah. put her in yeah. Beverly Hills and like, yeah, it was like mommy, that. Some uh, mommy really swap one with uh, with some uh, I don't know satanic one and uh, <laughs> you are all crazy. Uh, nice. <laughs> wife swap. There you go. It's, it's called wife swap. Yeah. Is it really one, uh, one of those meltdown show? You know, <laughs> thing that you watch like you watch a train wreck or an accident. <laughs> <laughs> Trading spaces. I thought that was uh, a movie. I don't know. Anyway, meh. Nah. How about we check another question? Uh, uh, Jack is a special guest and he has the sleep skill. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, wanna, I want to read this one. What? Oh, like Rum God. Rider, why not have a point threshold which force you to play which require you to complete so many levels? The point can be put into one of Bob's million where each one has a specific passive boost and increased DPS and blah blah blah. So if I catch the gist of it is uh, having uh, the rem grinder thingy. Uh, skill tree? Skill tree-ish. Why not have a point threshold which forces you to play? A lack of bacon, if you're still around, if you can elaborate on this. Uh, please, do. I please do. Please uh... do. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do this one. Can we get cloaks, neck chain, monocle, staff, mask, hood, robes, scepter, and more? <laughs> I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. It's the undo okay. it. The, undo the it. selfie UI or the selfie screen is already like super tiny. Mm. We can throw so much more into that. 
And we can use the uh, texture singular system in there as well. Yes, we can. Yeah, there would be a time where we, uh, I think we should put... Uh, should do an update just on Bob appearance. Have, yeah. Having a... Uh, well, allowing him to have more trinket and more cloak and more stuff. You know, I would love to invest more cosmetic time on Bob when we're gonna have more use for him. Uh, example, if we ever are able to connect Discord inside the game and have people yes. chat with each other, we're gonna have like an icon of Bob so people could customize their icon and be like, oh, I have that hat, I have this, that, and that, you know? Or if you can chat with your friends or something like that, you know? So I'll be like, let's invest into that because it's gonna be way more important to have your own personality. But right now, uh, yes, people li love hats, and we're gonna listen to that. We're gonna give more hats and everything. But uh, you cannot really brag about it. You cannot really show it to the world somehow. So yeah, I would love to give them more importance. Before, yeah, one hundred percent agreed. <clears throat> There's a little bit of uh, people people sharing their selfie, but I don't think it's that yeah. big. It's not that big. If I remember correctly, uh, I think the place that I see the, the most selfie are is on the uh, armor game. Okay. But uh, seems to have fade out a little bit. There was a couple of team as well. There I was know. a time where I, I read the comment and there was full of selfie, but there's not as much anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I think selfie was a fun mechanic that got, that got all wait for most of people. Yeah, it was something. It's still that, cool. Uh, I think we still work on it, but uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I believe that it's kind of like the leaderboard system on its own. It's okay. It's not gonna give like that much of a, oh my god, I can't wait to use the leaderboard. But I think like it's a it's one part of a huge jigsaw puzzle. And when we're gonna have like that complete. I want to say multiplayer experience is all going to make sense within the group, you know? So that's why I think Don't it will say that well. M world. The, <laughs> the M word. Yeah. Uh, Actually, if you search the, uh, well, there's not that many, but uh, with the hashtag Zombital, if you search Twitter, there's a, uh, you can find some selfies. Yeah. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Or we should have something outside the game. Like a community manager that, uh, that I, yes, we have Lartland and we love you, Lartland. <laughs> first, all right, and we're gonna meet you very soon, by the way. Yes, in one week. Uh, but Lartland, you already have a shit ton of work. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> we already have, we already exploiting you so much. I don't want to add more. On top we of really that. just need to have a full time for uh, Zombital, like only. Yeah, because exactly. I know that's that's part of Mark's ha or Mark. That's part of Mike's hat, but uh, Mike also does a shit ton of stuff for just shapes and beats, and he's pretty yeah. much just berserk yeah. in its entirety. Yeah, yeah. Like he's working the on, shape, the, uh, on all the projects. shapes and beat, uh, also uh, bloody muscle, and yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. So he's working like a shit ton of. Uh, that would be, uh, yeah, but anyway, uh, to get back to the selfie with the hashtag something, if we had like every week uh, the best selfie, uh, gonna go, we're gonna get like 25 diamonds or something like that, you know? That could be oh. something. Uh, uh, speaking of that kind of thing, people have also talked about, uh, and I love this idea, it just requires more setup on our end, mm -hmm. uh, doing like art competitions, like fan art competitions, yeah. or. Um, a hundred percent agreed. A hundred percent agreed. And we could have it in the news somehow. Uh, yeah. When you go into here, advance, and what's new. Like, some place right here. Like, uh, with an image. Instead of just having that. You know, like a bigger update. It would be super update. easy to do a uh, some kind of, like, imager setup. And mm -hmm. we can actually have, like, an art gallery in the game. Where we can see, like, little thumbnails from imager. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's like that's all connected to the selfie thing, you know. That's yep. uh, the selfie is trying to expand the game outside of the game. So having artworks and stuff like that uh, would be another real expansion. Totally agree.
so much we can do with some vital. What's the <laughs> next big? <laughs> Pebble Janik and Zero's Des would win all the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, I was about to say, what's uh, next big thing we should be working on? <laughs> I'm dropping that at the end of the podcast. Maybe, yeah, uh, maybe we should just talk about that outside of the podcast. Uh, the, the, the next one... big, the, uh, what's coming next uh, is actually uh, the next uh, collaboration. Well, is that? Are you is on that the next? Very next? I think it's next, by, uh, boys. This is news yeah, to me. That's a discussion we need to do, like outside the stream. <laughs> I think you're right, Etienne. Yeah, but I think I'm I do right. Remember I'm a sorry time. to be right, but I think I'm right. Yeah, because I, I... after that is Christmas. <sighs> Already? Like, no, you're you're you can't possibly be correct. Uh, uh, it's sorry. the second, and then the sixteenth, and then the thirtieth. No, we got a oh. little ways. Golden Dusky is asking about the nightmare mo mode. I. Uh... I forgot oh, about yes. That. I forgot about the nightmare mode. I want to do nightmare mode so bad. Nightmare mode, multi world farming. Prestige. Prestige. Items 2.0. Oh, Cookbook. Lots of stuff. Nightmare you know, mode, I think, I think it's a pretty big chunk. I think uh, we will have to talk a, a lot about it so it won't be the next thing. I'm pretty sure. Well, Nightmare Mode is its a huge thing to do, but the way that we want to do it is almost automated. So that we yeah, don't but have to it's worry about doing maybe it not the way we should do it. I think we should have more different as well for Nightmare Mode a little bit. Oh, I totally I, agree. Yeah, the, the, so we will have to talk about it. <laughs> I, I just don't want to be just stat thing. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 I... I also 100% agree. Yeah. I know. How about we do a tint like in Grandma's Boy? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Have you watched Mr. this movie, Kojak? Mr. Chikatsik Game Developer. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing what? Have you watched that movie? It's called Grandma's Boy. Oh God, no, I don't. I think I've seen it once, like a decade ago or something. It's, it's very good for the bad reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm aware that it's not a good if movie. If you're not in the game industry, I don't recommend to watch it. But if you're yeah. in the game industry, watch that movie. It's so yeah, funny. Yeah. Because it's so unaccurate that it's <laughs> yeah. really funny. I think the most of it. Uh, so, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's not that good movie if you're not uh, in that industry. No? Yeah. <laughs> it's not really funny. I'm going to have to watch it again, yeah. 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 But, uh, so not how this works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's one guy who makes everything. The QA yeah, there's team. one game developer and a, a thousand tester. That's the game industry. <laughs> yeah, that's the game industry. That's how it works. Yeah, and uh, the QA, the QA team, uh, I've been able to find all the bugs. And oh, no. a list on how to fix it. No. Yeah. Like not only like there's that that girl, you know, the team of the QA, the 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 the, 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 the leader, the chief uh, of the uh, QA team says, uh, "Good job, guys. Not only you have found every single bug in the game, but you <laughs> have linked a way on how to fix them." It's like, okay. You found all the bugs? No, that's not yeah, a thing. No, no, never that's not them. a thing. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> don't you, you found don't everybody a know lot that of you bugs. Just, but you we have say, a like, list of bugs that we have to find <laughs> at the beginning of the week. Yeah, there, there's a finite amount of bugs. <laughs> yeah, 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 you cannot find it. You cannot claim to find all bugs. It's like saying, uh, uh, fuck, I'm trying to compare that. I found all the stars in the sky. Yeah. In the space. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, it's already 4 p.m. I believe it's time to, to say goodbye. I believe it's time to wrap this up, guys. I'm gonna check out. I got some friends who 
may or may not be streaming. Nope. Okay, they are not streaming. Is Ryan, Ryan Clark, Clark streaming? streaming? Does he? Oh, I think we're desynced with him again. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, I think he streams next Friday. Boo. Yep, he's not he's not online. That Boo. sucks. Okay. Well, we're going to we're going to push somebody else. I don't know. Meh. We'll find out. Uh, okay, I'm gonna switch for talking for what? Uh, anything you want so to add? So this is the end. So this is the end. I'm Next praying. week we're gonna be at TwitchCon, babies. Yes. TwitchCon. No. I won't be there. Except Etienne. Etienne doesn't yeah. want to come because I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that? Um, like yesterday, I didn't have a plane ticket or a hotel. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, I mean... Mike, Mike takes care of that. You know, it was like, yeah, yeah, I'm looking at it. And like at the beginning of the week, yeah, last week, or this week actually, he said, like, uh, yeah, all hotels are booked up to like a 30 minutes taxi drive like oh fuck and also we don't have plane tickets i was like okay how about <laughs> we fix that and i uh, actually found out like uh this wednesday or it was yesterday i think yes I, I think it was yesterday it was like okay everything is booked now and we got a nice hotel very close the convention center blah 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 okay magic mike I love Mike so much. Yeah. Mag I don't know Mike how he does it. Again. That's why I'm scared. That's why you're scared. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> uh, beautiful. Anyway, TwitchCon next week. Finally gonna see each other again. Oh, if you uh, if you find us at TwitchCon, we have a hat to give you. Oh, uh, yeah. How do we set that up? By the way, do we have like, no clue? <laughs> okay, uh, so we're gonna have to set a bunch of code already. I'm gonna have my laptop anyway, so we can always, like, at the beginning of the day, generate the shit done of. And that's it. Perfect. Sounds good okay. to me. Yeah. Yeah, because I know that I can't make a uh, an air version of the Knights of the Stream, otherwise I would, because the login for Twitch doesn't work anymore. Uh, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, so... Okay, anyway, I'll be, uh, I'll have my laptop, so I'll be able to make builds of some bite of you either one, so, uh, I'll oh, have nice. my, uh, my dev laptop. We can figure, we can figure <laughs> so, something out in the plane. I would say that Magic Mike is a stripper movie. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Magic, Magic Mike is a Mike. movie about male strippers. <laughs> Title of his next <laughs> sex tape. <laughs> uh, Alright, on this beautiful note, I believe it's time to say goodbye. Guys, thank you very much for watching today's podcast. By the way, I believe that in not next podcast, but no, actually next podcast will be our first year anniversary of the podcast. Oh, Holy shit. We started, Dude. yeah, we started to make Bazooka Podcast on November last, uh, right after TwitchCon last year. Yeah, I remember. I remember that. Yeah, because I made yeah. the intro on the plane going to TwitchCon. So you I did. Remember I remember this now. Yeah. Before so that, I was a nobody. Nobody know me. Uh, now I'm famous. Are you, are you okay? Are you famous? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> like, there's a, an evil soul trying to get out of my buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's not... It's just that every time you do it, you go... Oh! <laughs> like, at the end of it. <laughs> Well, you know, like it's it's impossible to be subtle, so I I I, <laughs> I, I prefer to embrace it. You can be subtle. You can do the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's still like it, it, no. I like to be a confidently assume my verbs. Uh, uh, so like, I, I like the for... because you can channel it and just fit it in one thing. face. Ah. Very zen. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. Bird is crawling all over me. On this note, uh, guys, <laughs> let's wrap this up. Thank you very much All for right, watching. Yeah. We'll be there on the next podcast, which will be in three weeks. Um, and yeah, otherwise we'll be streaming a bit next week as well. 
but uh, we're gonna be on the plane to TwitchCon uh, starting from Wednesday ish up to a year after a year a week after that. So stay tuned. Um, I love you all. You guys are the best, especially you. Goodbye. Bye, guys.